Hey there, it's E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily, and we're here to keep things simple and fun. Are you just starting out photography and you maybe really struggle with editing, so you keep looking up more and more presets you could purchase? Well, we're here today to explain why it might not be a great idea to start using presets right off the bat. And make sure to watch all the way through until the end because we have something special just for you. We promise by the end of this video, you're going to feel confident editing your photos without the help of presets right off the bat. And for the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications for future videos. So when we first started out, we were preset queens. We used presets on anything and everything we could, but still found ourselves incredibly frustrated. So we know we needed to take a step back and really think about what we were doing. So we're gonna dive right in and explain why presets might not be the best idea right away. So using presets might leave you frustrated and take up more of your time actually. It's not as easy as it may seem because presets, putting presets on is not necessarily the key to getting those beautiful images. There's more to it. So we want to point out a couple things. The first thing we want to point out is learn lighting first. Lighting is the absolute key and we feel most important piece when it comes to photography. If you can nail the lighting, your editing process is going to be much faster and easier. So if you can get that beautiful light while you're at the session, the need for presets might not be so great. But nailing lighting before getting into presets or before even diving into editing, we feel is the most important piece. The next important piece is before you even consider presets, you need to have an understanding of editing. So learn editing before diving in to presets. You need to know the ins and outs of your editing program, what happens when you move this slider up or this slider down. You need to have an understanding of it because even when you apply presets, you're going to need to adjust some of those settings. So why not figure it out and get an eye for it before you use a preset? Comment below right now with your biggest frustration with photography. One thing we know we didn't understand right away when we first started out and a lot of new photographers struggle with when using presets is when you change locations or have different lighting, the preset will change the way your image looks. So you might apply a preset on a variety of locations that you took a um, senior or a family, whatever it might be, it's going to make all of those look quite a bit different probably because of the lighting in all of those different spots, the colors, all of that. So that all comes into play when using a preset. So really mastering that lighting and mastering that editing is going to help you in the long run. Now we just want to point out that you are going to start to see a huge difference in editing with or without presets once you start learning both manual mode and understanding lighting. So along with lighting and editing, really making yourself use manual mode and forcing yourself to understand it is going to make your editing process a lot easier. Now you know why we do not recommend using presets when you're first beginning. And if you are a beginning photographer and learning manual mode and learning your camera, we have a guide for you all about manual mode and those camera settings to help you feel more comfortable. So in the description below this video, you will see the link to that free guide. So make sure to take a look. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe, share with a friend so we know to make more videos just like this one. And if you don't already, make sure to follow us on Instagram for even more at esquared.photography and we will see you next time.